fight for the belt. This is my dream. The Benjamin Floyd Tide World Championship. Martial Arts. Kazakhbai Talinov takes on Ivan Poroshikov. Poroshikov is four years older, two inches shorter, but Talinov has a weight advantage of close to four pounds as Kyrgyzstan meets Russia. Global Rules Mixed Martial Arts. That's three five-minute rounds. The bout is judged is an entirety, not round by round. Knees to the head of a rounded opponent are legal. No spiking or throws on the head, neck, and spine. From the blue corner, Ivan Parshikov! Poroshikov out of Moscow, Russia, now calls Phuket, Thailand home, competing out of the Phuket Fight Club. Poroshikov really had a lot of success when he first got started here on One Friday Fights. Lost a unanimous decision with uh, to Ben Royal, the plan to right that ship and get things moving in the right direction. And that is two, that one contract. Yeah, but she really did go on a tear when he entered one with Pini. Three back to back wins. And talk to us about that fight against Ben Royal. And he believes that he didn't lose that fight. He believes he won that fight. The judges feel the other way. But that being said, about it. He went back to the drawing board. He increased, he improved his cardio and other things that are going to be his secret weapon to winning this match tonight, friend. From the red corner, Kazakh by Tuliano! They haven't seen each other, they haven't run into each other out there in Phuket, but Talinov is ready to bring the fight here tonight. Oh, excited for this man's debut. Grew up in a village called Osh, deep in the Fergana Valley in the south of Kyrgyzstan. Moved to the capital, Bishkek, at the age of 17, where he started his MMA career. Currently, a law student in law school wants to graduate, wants to become a lawyer as well. But tonight, we're going to lay down the law on his opponent, Ivan Pashikov. This is going to be a great showdown between two, two really strong grapplers. One who's a little bit more you know, oriented on that control from the top position and the ground and pound the other with great subs from his back. And that would be Kazakh Bai. Really strong off that back position. So we're going to see some really technical and awesome grappling exchanges here in this fight. Talinov has four submission victories. Every single one of them have happened within the first five minutes. Fights like he's double parked outside really has an aggressive game and he plans to keep that pressure on the entire night. It was interesting to talk to him because he was very dismissive of Brashikov's ability to grapple. So he says he will not go to the judges' score. Contest. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, training at a Phuket Fight Club, holding an MMA record of 12 and 4. 
representing Russia, Ashiko! And introducing the opponent, out of the red corner, training out of Ikhlas Bishkek and Tiger Muay Thai, holding an MMA record of 5 and 1, representing Kyrgyzstan! Here, yeah, please. Blue here. On my left, please. All right, you both want to keep it active. Obey my instructions at all time. Touch gloves if you want, and back to your corners. Referee Mohammed Sulaiman Judge. giving the final Judge. instructions Judge. for Rashikov Ready. in the purple Ready. and black. White, black. Control there, but Rashikov just needs to watch for the head. That's where the cup is all. That seems to be on. You know, in some cases, that might make the submission deeper. Telling off, doing a good job of control, forcing to go back to some kind of, of garden. And again, good flexibility. Telling off, getting right back into the position. There you see the extension. And that is on, ladies and gentlemen. Right that Steve Khan knows that he's close to tapping. So he's trying to get the right angle there. So that he can put enough pressure on Telling off. Stop the very aggressive off. Fighters are fighting for that possible dollar contract into one championship. Every fighter dreams of making their debut on the world's largest stage of martial arts. As Barashikov is trying to work past that half guard, dropping some ground and pound. Zinanov already has a submission win from the armbar, from the bottom. Good job, to so weather that storm. Just a half guard position. Shoulder strikes there just to make it. Comfortable. This is a grueling game. Tillenov does not want to play with Pashkov. He needs to get that underhook. He has any chance of getting back up to his feet. Yeah, Pashkov showing really good physical strength in these top positions. You know, and it's a dangerous game to play, but perhaps he was baiting this up a little bit too. Like you said, look at him. off his back, immediately threatens with the arm bar again. Gotta be careful. Kick it off to the head of a grounded opponent as Brashikov continues with that top pressure. Now he's trying to get a rhythm. He's felt the strength and the power of Tillen off on the ground. He feels confident enough that he's going to continue. One single shot isn't a ton of damage, but they accumulate over time. So what they help Brashikov do is pass to this more dominant position. Brashikov looks to take the back. Good defense from Tolinov to defend as Brashikov presses him into the corner and fires him in. Surviving a near arm bar into the 
grappling. Here you see the big takedown here, even though cheeky rope grab there from Tilenov. And even that wasn't enough to withstand the power of Parshikov. Parshikov did a great job, two on top of mixing some punches, threw some elbows to the body, and then to the head, you know, he's got a very, uh, you know, very complete striking skill set for his ground and pound as well. It's wrong too. These fighters are fighting for an invitation into one championship, the world's largest stage of martial arts, and immediately, Rushikov wants to get back to the mat where he's pulling off. Let's the hands go. Please keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this is the global MMA rule set. Bouts are judged in their entirety, not round by round. So think of it like one big round. Big uppercut there. Zilin off. Catching Rushikov. He's trying to come in for a takedown. Back to where we were in round one. With that constant, relentless grappling pressure. From Pashikov, Zilinov, and I need to find different answers to this. Uh, of stopping the takedowns and keeping up with the pace that Pashikov set. Pashikov trying to breathe with his mouth open now. They're on the feet, you know, that's part of the gamble, you know, the, the relentless pressure of the takedown takes a lot of conditioning. But now he's back on top and he's so comfortable here. Yep, he's locking up that top position. The arms are going to move around. He's got his hands to get to the other side, though. The head. He does a great job to get back up on top and throws a grand pound as he takes the back. Very good agility there. He's able to sneak up on the back of Pashikov. Pashikov in trouble here. He scrambles to get back onto his feet. Giving a bit of medicine of his own there. This is such a grueling battle. Just constantly transitioning from position to position. Energy demands that this type of match takes is just extraordinary. Yeah, that's why both of these competitors are super fit. They are in the best shapes of their life. Take advantage of this opportunity. Biggest opportunity of their life. After the fight that he had been well, he really wants to make a statement here. Makes the debut on Kyrgyzstan. She throws a leather in the pocket there. Yeah, Karshikov let his jaw hang open a little bit, which is dangerous in these standing exchanges. It's a little bit like he's got a great gas tank, and he's ready to duke it out on the field. Yeah, Tillinov looks fresh, fired up, landed big shots. Karshikov looks like he's slowly starting to fade. He said that I would finish him in the second round. Let's 
see if the prediction comes true for Tolino. And it does it. Kowashikov able to survive. See the exchange and takedowns. Mixing up with the strikes. Back missed attempt. Tilinov crawling back all so far, Brad. Tilinov did a great job at the end of that round. You know, he could have really dug in and gone for a rear naked choke and possibly given up that dominant position. But he was patient, he stayed calm, and he, and he held that position to let some strikes go. Second strike foul, second foul, let's go. Mom got in, up, set up. Established fighters and young up-and-comers who want to earn a shot at the highest levels in the world. One, it all starts here on One Friday Fight. This is the place where you have to show dominance every single time you are inside this ring. And right now, Horashikov, Tilinov need to turn things up in this third and final round. Tilinov coming out, definitely looking like the pressure of the two. Horashikov gonna need to dig deep. He's gonna get any get close to any kind of finish. You wanna make a prediction here? Good enough is looking sharp with the striking. You know, and that's the thing, and Parshikov here looks very fatigued, but even a corner rack can fight to enough needs to make sure that he doesn't let his guard drop. He doesn't get too complacent. Off the jab, he's smart for the leg kick. You know, maybe he wants to shoot the takedown now. But don't just stand before Parshikov. Rashikov tried to engage into the outside trip, but Tilinov just settled into it. Put Rashikov on his back and is now letting the ground and pound fly. You can see Rashikov trying to go deep past, trying to get an underhook on that leg so he can possibly sweep and create some movement. But the heavy hips of Tilinov are just keeping his spot and dropping the ground and pound. You know, we've seen Parshikov get off submissions from the deep part before. He likes to go into the knee bar. That does take a lot of energy to do, and it does not look like Tillinov is ready to give away any mistakes here. He loses this position. He looks quite happy to just rain down ground and pound from here. But like I said, he needs to be careful that Parshikov doesn't get underneath Tillinov's body, pop him over, and maybe go for a sneaky little knee bar. Good on his finishing 